this has been something that the beat writers have known and really haven't talked about because we're pretty go with the flow out here in the Bay Area. But Cam Inman, God love him. I wasn't there yesterday. I oh. flew to Cincinnati. These guys flew in today. It's, that's a long weekend to do in three days, but they did. Cam, God love him, was there on Friday. And I'm listening on the plane. Every single question is about Trey Lance. I'm like, man, good going, guys. Nice going. How's he doing on the scout team? And I mean, they really had Kyle Shanahan giving all kind of stuff. And Shanahan didn't mind. He was he was cool talking about Trey Lance. No Trey Lance, though. He didn't talk. And he hasn't talked in a very since he since he played. Right. And we've been requesting him. We can't go into the locker room anymore. It used to be a non-issue, but now they have to bring him to us. And they haven't brought him. And I so Cam, I guess this was their I wasn't there, but it's I think it was their comment. We're asking about him. He's a topic. Yeah. And then and then uh they went to practice, took a picture. Cam had a, a caption on Twitter saying, this is Trey Lance. Apparently, he's doing great on the scout team. I'd love to ask him about it, but the team won't make him available. And um, that's where we're at. The team is not making him available. It's been more than a month. Let's argue about it. Let's argue about it. I'm I'm assuming that you'd be comfortable with the side of arguing that you should have the privilege of asking Trey Lance some questions. Is that a fair assumption? Um, your use of the word privilege in that, in that sentence I, uh, offends me. <laughs> I, I don't, but yes, other than that word, yes. It, well, it, you know, it does strike me that, that the media feels they're owed this. And, and, and I have to say from, from Trey's side of it, I'm glad that he's not being offered up for media availability. And, and I'll tell you why I, I don't believe that it's Trey's fault that he's not starting. I don't believe that Trey should have to answer for organizational mistakes that have been made along the path. I don't think that Trey should have to be defensive about his inability to get on the field because the 49ers absolutely dropped the ball on this entire process, starting with the trade up. You done? I, I, I am allowing for response and then All we'll right. continue, sir. All right, cool. All right. Um, I feel really strongly about this. This is my Ooh. job. This Ooh. is journalism. This is sports journalism here. All right, it is. It is. And I understand that teams are begrudging with their NFL teams are very begrudging with their access with journalists because from teams' perspective, their football team they're trying to win. That's it. That's right. No, this is professional sports. This is entertainment. It's about it making is. money. You're not just a football team. You're a team in the NFL. All right. You you you're you're in a league. And they have an agenda. You know what their agenda is? <clears throat> Making money. And they have ways they want to do that. It's really, they use, they work with us, the media. We're their yes. marketing. And there are rules. This is collectively bargained between the owners, the league, the uh, play, the players association. These are just rules. So I looked it up. I looked it up. This is oh. something that's in there. And Ooh. for just such an occasion, because there's always a team saying, but we shouldn't have to, this one guy, he doesn't even, why, why should, there's always one team with one player that they don't think should have. So here's the rule. All right. I'm just reading it. Players must be available to the media following every game and regularly during the practice week as required under league rules and their contracts at, at, as noted above. It is not. Let me read that again, since I stuttered through the whole thing. Players yes, must be available please. to the <laughs> players must be available to the media following every game, and regularly during the practice week, as required under league rules and their contracts. It is not permissible for any player or any group of players to boycott the media. Players with unusually heavy media demands must be available to the media that regularly cover their teams at least underlined once during the practice week. In addition. To their required post-game media availability. That's the rule. That seems um, pretty clear. If the NFL wanted to give exceptions, they would be exceptions. So um, here's the thing: the Niners are in violation of a rule, and the reason that I mean, we just haven't gone to the league yet because we're not trying to go to war with the Niners. Right. That's ugly. So what Cam did was really clever. He just put it out there, uh, not taking a shot at the Niners, not taking going to the league. But now it's public, and now you know what's going to happen. Trey Lance going to talk because if he doesn't then he's going to get fined. And how is that fair? Remember with Marshawn Lynch four, five, six, seven years ago? Yes. He got fined like $100,000 because he wouldn't talk. And then he went out there and said, I'm just here so I won't get fined, which is super classic. Super classic. And if Trey Lance wants to go out there and do that, that's – but that's what it is, man. That's the way it is. And that's because it's sports entertainment. 
if you wanted to not have that part of the league, then you could just be amateur and focus on winning. And I respect that, but that's, it's not what it is. I'm sorry, but you're, you can, you can disagree. We have, I'm a journalist. You're a fan. I, 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 I definitely yeah. do disagree, but it is interesting to know that, that the rules pretty clearly state that he should be available because fine. Yeah, I, I'm I'm guessing yeah. that the requests for Trey have been consistent on a weekly yeah. basis. And, and like, if we go to the league, something bad. But I, I, that's not what this. We're not at war with the team. We're not trying to do that. I mean, really, we're not trying to ask Trey Lance too many. You know us. I mean, there'd be a couple questions like, "How's it feel to be?" But really, we're a bunch of softball central people. It's just only fair that we should have access that the NFL gives us. I mean, we're just asking for the rules to be enforced. We're not asking yes. for special treatment. We're not. And, you know, if, if Colin Kaepernick were on a team and it was a backup, someone would be like, well, you know, why do we have to make him available? Because those are the freaking rules. And if you have an issue with it, take it up with the league, not us. I'm saying. Like, we're not the bad guys because we're asking for what's been um, collectively bargained. Right. And in years past, this wouldn't be quite the issue that it is now because you'd have locker room access. You'd have the ability to approach exactly. Trey Lance exactly. and get some of exactly. these storylines. Exactly. He's there. Hey, Trey, right. you got a minute? Sure. Right. But now the league has been, is able to control their narrative like no, like never before. And you can't let billion dollar organizations control their narrative. I don't care if they're sports or not. It's a lot right. of money at stake. And I'm there for a reason. So anyway, and look, look, look so all I want to say you is, know what's interesting. I bet you Trey's going to talk soon. I bet you he will. I, I, I would will. think so after that pressure being applied. It, what's will. interesting is I find myself now in in split loyalties in that I believe that you're correct, that the NFL should not really be able to dictate who we have access to. And yet I'm still glad that Trey Lance is, is not provided access. So my question well, I, to you. Explain that again from a fan's perspective. Because to me, if I were a fan still and I'm not, I'd want to. I'd want to know freaking Trey Lance. Like, I, I'm sorry. I, the, I, just the fact that he's this, you know, mystery in the background, like working in the Bat Cave. Like, right. nah, I, mean, I want to hear something. From, I want to, I want to get to know him. He's more than just a player. He's a person. But I'd like to, because I know a lot of fans are like, you know, I just want to. If this is what leads to wins, then good. Yeah. So it, it is. It goes back to it not being Trey's fault that he's not starting. It goes back to it being an organizational issue from the outset, setting the wrong expectations when they traded up to three, setting the wrong expectations in saying that Trey was going to push Jimmy for the starting job. Steve Young said as much in his most recent interview that this wasn't what I was led to believe. This wasn't what, what we were all led to believe that there was going to be a true competition. They should have known coming into this, they should have set expectations that were fairer to Trey. And so that pressure has been applied to this young gentleman because of failings within the 49ers front office, because of failings within their coaching staff totally to get him. It's not his fault. Yeah, it's not properly his fault, but... uh, pumped up to play. And so the question becomes, those, those top questions that are on your mind that you want to ask to Trey, Aren't they really questions for Kyle and John? For I understand. I understand they're not answering them. I'm sorry. You can't. You can't draft a guy in the first round and then put him in the garage and say, "Don't look over here. Don't talk. Yeah. Don't ask me about this. Don't look over here." Like, no, you can't. Just, you can't tell us what's news. He's the news. He's your first round pick. He's the future of your franchise. He's the player on the team that fans are most interested in. I'll tell you, as a guy who runs a YouTube channel and I look at all, he's the guy. He's yeah. the news. You can't play like this little magic act. Like, don't look over here. Don't look over here. I know you're looking over here, but don't look over here. Like, no, right. man, you can't determine, not you, but the team, you can't determine that. And if, if, if he's the topic, you made him the topic. You can't run from this. And what they're doing is running from it. Like, don't ask us about this. Let's pretend right. it's not happening. No, you can't. Let's. We can't ignore the 800-pound gorilla in the room that is Trey Lance. That's the, you can't ignore it, and you can't ask the media to be complicit with you. We're not on your side. You traded for him. There are questions no, every time I do like a radio hit in another town, like Seattle or someplace that's not Green Bay. They're like, "What the hell is going on at quarterback?" I, I, I don't know. But over here, everyone's like, "Oh yeah, it's a plan. It makes sense. Yeah, totally." Yeah. Everywhere else, like, what is that? That's that's basically how the, the world the, the country is looking at it. So I think it's fair to at least ask the question. And I know it sucks to tr for Trey to yes. put him out there and to make him. But you know what? You got to get out in front of this. 
and they created this situation. And if you don't want him to ask to have uncomfortable questions and freaking play him, play him. So, so I concur with a, a great analogy. It's like having a beautiful Ferrari in the garage and be like, no, we can't go look at it. No, you, you can't see it. Yeah, it's there. Pretend It'll be great there. when Pretend we go for a drive, there. but yeah. Don't even ask me about it. it. Yeah. So, so that fits, but, but to me, the questions around Trey Lance are absolutely questions that need to be directed to, to Kyle and John. Now, I understand the frustration of the media in that they direct those questions. You I've asked direct Kyle's those questions, questions to Kyle. Yes. And his response is to get snarky. His response is to, to act as if it's crazy that you're asking these questions. And that annoys me to no end. So that is where I think you and I are in alignment, that I think it's trash that Kyle Shanahan created this, this, this dynamic and now wants to pretend that it's it's wild that the media wants to speculate on it and talk about it. Of course they want to talk about it. We all want to talk about it. My problem is I think Trey Lance is already under enough pressure. And as a 49er faithful who wants him to be successful, I don't want to add to that pressure by having him ask quest, uh, having him answer questions that he's really not in control of. The idea of him not playing, get that autofocus back, baby. Get that autofocus back. Can't you see my eyes? What so, is going on here? There you go. Oh, the yelling at it. So it's it's questions I want Kyle to answer. So my stance is a bit softer in that regard, where I am upset with Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch for not answering these questions more fully, for pretending like they're irritated and didn't expect these questions. You should have damn well known that these questions were coming when you traded up to three to take a quarterback and paid a guy $27 million to be your starter for this year. But again, those questions to me don't belong in Trey Lance's lap. To be fair, we're not that tough. No. I mean, I'm the tough one. I'm not going to grill Trey. I love, I, I like the idea of Trey. It's That's not fair. New York. We're, we're not going to go up there and be like, so say how much you hate the 49ers. We're not going to do that. And you know, he's a very professional, mature young man. He can handle himself. Really, it's just an opportunity for him to look good, for him to go up there and be professional and be like, oh, this is great. I love this organization. I love Kyle. I love the plan. It's just an opportunity for him to look good and say the right thing and for fans to be like i love this guy wow really i mean it's a no lose situation it's so easy and the fact that they're hiding him it's like dude bad pr bad bad marketing come on you can't run from this it's the 800 pound gorilla just put him up there and have him say the right thing end of story end of story they've compounded their mistakes in not allowing him to speak because yeah. now it is that in and of itself has become a storyline. Like, what's, what's the deal here? He, they, they've he, continued to pile more and more pressure on the young gentleman because of that inability to put him before the media. And now it is a thing. And now fans are asking about it. And again, for me, it goes back to Trey being the innocent victim in all of this, that none of this was created by him not even created by his performance. It is created by the San Francisco 49ers, John Lynch setting an expectation, Kyle Shanahan and his coaching staff and their inability to get Trey ready to even contribute in packages. That's the real story to me. Here's the worst question that he's going to have to face. Why didn't you accept our interview request for the last month and a half? And it probably wasn't his fault. No, it was probably the it was probably the team, but it makes him look like he was ducking us. He's the one who's going to get fined if this comes down to it. Like that's the, the the most unfair thing about it is you're trying to protect him. You're not. He can handle himself. You're not protecting him. You're you're making him look bad in eight different ways. Not playing him. Not letting him talk. Not letting him speak for himself. What is he? Seventeen? Come on. He come on. You can't I mean, control the narrative. You can't get us to just ignore the eight hundred pound gorilla. You need to put him up there and he and. Prep them. He, you're all on the same team here. They're going right. to ask this. They're going to ask that. This is what you want to say. And if he wants to go out there and publicly ask for a trade, then that's his business. I doubt it. I think it'll be all right. Trust him. What's the worst that could happen? Anyway. I, I can't imagine it being too terrible. I, I, I stay on the side of wanting these answers from the coaching staff because I think that's where the – my – my thought on it is that Trey won't provide any real answers because he doesn't have the answers because it isn't his fault that this situation has devolved to where it is. The people who have the answers are Kyle Shanahan or John it's, Lynch. It's fair. it's fair, but what I'm saying is, and you're right, you cannot set the precedent that there's a reason that one player would be absolved from media. You can't set that precedent. 
You that I agree wholeheartedly. It's a dangerous Tom road to go a down. Really si- bad situation, and you didn't create it. You so didn't create the situation. I feel terrible, but you know my heart goes out to Trey Lance, dude. It's 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 part of it, man, and it's part of it. Anyway, and if he's up, going to be the yeah. face of the franchise, he's going to have to stand up to it at some point. And this is a Niner issue, not a Trey issue. This Correct. is a Niner issue. Handle it, Niners. I, I, this is nothing about Trey. I'm not being like Trey needs to talk. Trey, no, the Niners need to stop like treating him like he's 17. Correct. Is Debo playing? If not, we will lose. I. Pfft. We'll find out like 90 minutes before the game. 